Georgia wildlife officials trying to stop the invasion of a massive, ferocious, invasive species, the lizard species. The, this is a picture of a Komodo dragon. The Komodo dragon, or known as the Komodo monitor, is a specific lizard found in the Indonesia island of Komodo. It's about, uh, length is about, adult is about 2.6 meters. So that's like over six and a half feet tall. A female is a little bit uh, less. And the male could be about uh, 79 to 91 kilograms. That's almost 200 pounds. So they're huge animals, as you can imagine. A species of massive lizard causing concern for wildlife officials in the U.S. state of Georgia. They're attempting to eradicate this invasive species of reptile from the state after numerous sightings. The Argentine black and white Tegu Salvatore Mariani is a massive lizard that can get as big as four feet long, weighing over 10 pounds. I would say over 100 pounds. This must be a mistake. Four feet long must be over 100 pounds. And more uh, or more as is native to Brazil, Paraguay, and Argentina. The reptiles have been very popular in the exotic animal trade, particularly in Florida, which sits close to Georgia, as we know, and supports more non native species of reptiles and amphibians that, than anywhere else in the world. But due to the lizards being released into the wild by owners or even escaping their owners, the invasive species is now causing trouble. Further up the east coast in Georgia, the voracious reptilian predators have been found consuming a variety of native wildlife. DNR says, Tegus will eat the eggs of ground nesting birds, including quails and turkeys and other reptiles such as the American alligators and gopher tortoises, both protected species. They will also eat chicken eggs, fruit, vegetables, plants, pet food, carrion, and small live animals from grasshoppers to young gopher tortoises. This is what Georgia Department of Natural Resources DNP, DNR says. And according to Oriane Society, which works to conserve critical ecosystems for imperiled reptiles and amphibians, this is now the third year in a row that full-grown adult Argentine black and white tegus have been trapped in the wild in southern Georgia. The Tegu lizard population was found in Tatnail and Tombs counties and has the potential to spread rapidly. The sizable lizard's particular fondness for eggs makes their current proximity to gopher, tortoise, and eastern indigo snake populations in the state even more concerning. Georgia Southern University Department of Biology and the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, are currently leading efforts to identify the extent of the population in order to evaluate eradication potential in the state. Georgia's winters have been hypothesized to be potential deterrent for many invasive reptile species becoming established there, but the three con in the three consecutive years of Tegu captures strongly suggesting the reptiles are able to survive in the colder climate. There's also a possibility that adults have already bred which would dramatically increase their number out in the wild. The Orient Society states it's critical to remove invasive species early in the invasion process in order to stop them, and all Tegu sightings should be immediately reported to Georgia's uh, DNR. This is on Sputnik News. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. 
and we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.